And are we going this time? I think there's a very good chance that we are. In the final staging, the shapely legs, I think, were <laughs> of Nicky Richardson. No, they're not. That's Nicky Richardson. I'm wondering if that's Jim Bob. Anyway, it's Forks into turn one. Ahead of Hill, Dawson, Shield, Trafford. Oh, there's a lot of bagging going on at the back, but they're all still running, so they won't call this one back. Or will they? Cowell is off. And so is James Browning. That might be important if this doesn't get called back. Right now it's Forks from Hill. Shield has got ahead of Andrew Dawson, and Wright is pushing through. If he can, I see no wave off flag. They're not going to abort this one, they're going to let it run. This is bad news for James Browning. He'll have to content himself with setting the fastest lap that he can. For pole position, maybe, for the uh, main A final. It's Forks with a healthy gap over. Tim Hill, Shield in third. Dawson, right in cart 15. Lenny Wood, Nick Trafford, Mark Ridout. And I'd say Mark Ridout is quite well placed here to certainly pick up a few spots before the finish. Trafford inside of Wood. I could see Ridout making his way certainly up to perhaps third or fourth place before the finish. As he disposes of, or does he? Because Lenny's a difficult nut to crack. He hasn't. So you'll have to think about somewhere else. The rest of the field straightening in behind. Ben Bennyworth, Steve Borsley, John Gooch, Alex Lamin. The leader is already coming across start finish and Matthew Fox's lead was over a second. And now it's one and a half seconds ahead of Tim Hill. James Shield, Andrew Dawson, Adam Wright, Nick Trafford. Lenny Wood continues to hold off Mark Ridout. <coughs> so we've got the leader, a group of four, and Adam Wright's looking like he's ready to strike on a, at Andrew Dawson. And I can tell you it's a lot darker than the, uh, the pictures betray. The light is fading quickly here. Let's hope they've got good flood lighting. Another lap. It was 1.457 seconds. It's now 1.9 seconds, the advantage ahead of Tim Hill. And Ridout has taken care of Lenny Wood. Oh! That's not somewhere I'd like to be parked. But they've all made it through safely, ish. It's still as you were. Shield trying to come back to Tim Hill. It's still a group of four. And Trafford is going quite rapidly here. And it could become a group of five shortly. Redoubt is dropping Bennyworth, Wood, Worsley ahead of Lamin. Mark Turner seems to have lost a little bit of ground. Fox is already through. It's 1.7 seconds, so it looks as though Fox has maybe backed it off a little. Or perhaps Hill's picked up his pace. I think it's probably the latter. Looking at uh, how that second group has struck out just a little bit. And Trafford has uh, stalled in his pursuit. That's Stuart Jones in behind Bosley now. Unless that's Lamin with an alternative helmet. No, I think that's Stuart Jones in cart 104. And he's ahead of Anthony Harrington. I think we've lost Alex Lamin somewhere. Oh, there he is, ahead of Bosley.
So still Matthew Fawkes your leader. Tim Hill in second. Shield following, not really closing. It's, uh, it's quite relaxed up front. Everybody's just driving the pace that they've got. So let's go a little bit further back. Luke Parry, Mike Bodner. Martin Gurnett, well up in the championship. That's Michael Ballinger, always good for entertainment. It's been a strong run from Mark Turner, although I can see Paul Williams is ahead of him on track. This is down outside of the uh, top 12. Let's get back to the action. Shield is right on the bumper now of Tim Hill for second place. He's gone deep into the boot there, and Shields not in a position to take advantage. I think Shields doing the best that he can. And if Hill keeps it tidy, I'm not convinced James will find a way by. Dawson is managing to hold Adam Wright at a cart length. Trafford. Not really making any progress. Redoubt is edging in. We've, uh, we've crossed halfway in this pre air final. Oh dear, Autofocus now in trouble with the deteriorating light. I can't believe James Shield is not going to have a go here at some point. Hill trying to remain tidy, not getting away. Fox's lead was two seconds on the last lap, almost exactly. He's out of the corner now. 2.3. And Shield now, as close as he's ever been. In fact, I go as far as to say that I think Tim Hill might be holding him up. Certainly in parts of the circuit he is. I've got a feeling that Hill may be slowing down here towards the finish. And it's beginning to stack up now. James Shield, Andrew Dawson, Adam Wright will join in shortly. How long is Dawson prepared to wait for James Shield to get on with it? No longer, he sticks his nose in, can he make it stick? Not quite, and here comes Adam Wright. Down the inside of the pair of them and it does kick off at last. Before this, this final gets, too more bo uh, gets any bo more boring. Onto the back straight, right, and Trafford's arrived, and so is Riddell, and it's all on now. Hill stays in second, a distant second to Matthew Fox out front, but it's Adam Wright moving through to third place. As Dawson goes to work on James Shield, and Shield has been shuffled down behind Nick Trafford. And Mark Riddell is closing in as well. So this is the battle for third place. Fox is heading for a comfortable pre-air final win. Tim Hill has been given a reprieve with two and a half minutes to go. I think that could be enough to see him safely to second place, although Adam Wright now seems to have picked up his pace. Trafford, Shield, Riddout, Riddout in seventh. I could see him finishing fifth. He's going for sixth down the inside of turn six. 
and I suspect he will run Shield out of it. Not quite there. That was very fair, generally, from Mark Ridout. Around the back of the hill. And another lap goes in the boots from Matthew Forbes, who we've hardly featured because he's been out front all on his own. And Adam Wright is edging in to Tim Hill. Under two minutes, I'd say there's probably, certainly this lap and one more, possibly another after that. Redoubt still trying to work his way through the sixth place. And ben Bennyworth is coming back to this group as well. Lenny Wood, Alex Lamin, Stuart Jones down in 11th outside of the top 10. Apologies for not featuring people further back, but it, uh, when it has kicked off, it's been quite entertaining. Fox through and on to another lap. One minute 16 left. I'd say there's two laps left, including this one. Right runs wide, Trafford on the defensive, Dawson to the inside. Right made a mistake and Dawson went straight through. <laughs> and he does give good uh, hand gestures. Ridout still trying to find a way past James Shield. And he still can't get it done. And he's going to try again, this time inside of turn six. And I wonder what the fastest lap is right now. Because it hasn't been a particularly quick final. Uh, it wouldn't surprise me if there's somebody deep in the field. The final lap board is out. Somebody deep in the field has set Paul for the VNA final. Hill is he heading for second. Dawson third, although that might be disputed uh, with uh, Adam Wright, whether or not that was a clean pass. Trafford in fifth. Ahead of Shield and Ridout. Remember, this is the last lap. Ridout can see his championship rival, Adam Wright, two places further forward. Is there a last desperate attempt to get a spot, or is he going to settle for seventh? He covers off Ben Bennyworth. We're looking for Matthew Forbes. My, it is dark out there. Matthew Forbes into the bus stop this time. And this will be the chequered flag. Matthew Forbes wins the heavyweight pre-air final comfortably, it has to be said, from Tim Hill, Andrew Dawson, Adam Wright. Nick Trafford has probably wrapped up the Super Heavyweight Championship with fifth. James Shield, Mark Ridout, Ben Bennyworth, Lenny Wood and Alex Lamin is your top ten.